Hey, what is up? My name is Chris and welcome to Coding in Public. Today I wanted to do a short video just showing you some resource sites for finding either open source or MIT licensed icons. It's always great when you find a really good icon set that has everything you need, uh, but often you kind of need to pull from different ones. And so by giving you some variety here, hopefully you can find uh, ones that fit your needs. And if you can't find them in one of these websites, hopefully you can find them in another. They're mostly the same. There are some differences, and I'll try to mention those, besides just the obvious design choices that they've made that would be different. This Feather Icons is great. There's a Figma plugin. Uh, I believe you can actually uh, grab them off a CDN as well. But you can adjust the size here. You can adjust the stroke width. They're set to current color by default, which will use the parent elements color to set the color of the SVG, which is great for like hover states and stuff like that. Uh, or you can click here and set your own color if you'd like. Um, but uh, you just click any of these and they download automatically. So that works great um, for feather icons. So I really like the design style of these and hopefully you find some good use. I've used them uh, before in my projects. This next one, Simple Icons, is I think the best for finding like brands. So here I've got Facebook pulled up and you see not only do we have Facebook, but Facebook Live, Facebook Gaming, and then they've also got the hex codes. So you make sure to get the exact color uh, that matches that brand. And if I exit out of this, you'll see that there's just pretty much any brand you could ever want in here, uh, like Adblock here, they've got that one there. So um, this is a great website if you're looking for popular brands that you need to grab their icons and an SVG uh, or a PDF, it looks like they have as well. All right, this iconic.app uh, is a cool new one I run across recently. They've just got 200 right now, but they're adding, I think it's like 32 every week or something like that. And uh, I really like the design style of this as well. You can click on any of these and it pulls up this little modal. You do need to have an account, uh, but it's free to use and they're open source. And you can just download the SVG. You can copy the code. You can change a little bit uh, just about, you can see kind of how they look with different background colors. Um, but uh, so not as flexible, but they're adding a bunch of new ones all the time. And I really like the design style that they've got. This Tabler icons uh, is another one that you've got just a lot of adjustment possibilities here. So you can uh, change the stroke, you can change the size, you can change the color. They've got these different ones you can just select as well. Um, and uh, you see they've got almost 1,300 of these icons. Uh, they do have some popular brands and then just a lot of kind of um, nice variety here. Um, all these different arrows and loops and stuff like that. You can see just the arrow section alone is a, you know, a couple of dozen. This remix icon, this next one I'll show you here, is great for like hover states because all of them come in both this outline and a filled in form. And uh, they're a little more boxy in their design style, um, but they've got just a ton of options here, almost a little more than 2200. And these are all open source as well. Eva icons is another great one. They've got either outline or fill, and then you can actually kind of see the difference between them. They show you some animation that you can, uh, I believe, embed in these if I remember correctly. Um, and uh, they, there's just 246 of them or so, um, but they're open source as well. And again, uh, I really like their design style. They've got more of a rounded kind of soft edged uh, icon set, um, kind of like the feather icon. There's some similarities there, but they've got a different variety here as well. And then these animations also provide some uh, kind of cool feature sets as well. Phosphor icons is probably the most flexible of any of these. Uh, you'll see here they say basically use them for whatever, and they've got a Figma plugin. Um, but if you come down here, you can actually not only grab dual tone, but thin or light or regular or bold. All these options, you can change the size here. And then the coolest thing is, let's see how many, yeah, they say they have 4,600 icons. So there's just pretty much anything you could ever want you'll find in this set. Again, they're a little bit more boxy in their design style. Um, but kind of maybe in between real soft edges and kind of the hard edges. So these, this is a great resource, especially if you really want everything to be consistent and get everything from the same place. You can't go wrong with Phosphor icons. Lastly, the last one I'll show you here is Hero icons. They've got both an outline and a solid that are kind of set to certain uh, bounding boxes. Uh, this is made by the makers of Tailwind, and so you can imagine it'll work well with uh, that framework and then... Uh, you can copy it either as an SVG or as JSX uh, for like React or Vue. And so uh, if you write a lot of React or Vue code, then you may want to look into Hero icons. Once again, there is, I think, a Figma plugin and a bunch of ways to access this in your designs as well. Well, is there an icon set that you like that I didn't include? If so, go ahead and 
add that to the comments. If you like these kinds of videos, let me know. I'm trying to kind of mix it up so that every time you watch a video, you don't have to devote five hours to copy a project and kind of go step by step. Hopefully some of these resource videos will also be a big help to you. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Happy coding.